Scrappy People, it's Tracy Reed here, back with day four of my Countdown to December daily DIY Your Scraps video. And today, I am going to be making some journal cards, but I'm actually approaching this a little bit differently than I normally do. I am mostly, not completely, but mostly going to be altering the journal cards that come in the Simple Stories Merry and Bright collection. Um, that is the collection that I'm gonna be using for my December Daily this year. And while um, it has some great um, cards in it, sometimes they can be a little bit plain for me, like this one is just a journaling block on a beautiful patterned paper. So I'm just going to edit and alter some of these cards to be a little bit more interesting, a little bit more, they look a little bit more finished, like I've um, put some work into them, which of course I am, but uh, when it comes to actually putting together my December daily pages, they will already be done. So that is the awesome part about this. I will be making a few from scratch as well, um, but mostly I will be editing the ones that came in the collection. Um, my whole point is with this video series is to A, um, you know, DIY your scraps, use up the stuff that you have, but also showing you how you can make collections work for you and how you can do some December daily prep without doing any sort of foundation pages because I don't do foundation pages. I tend to find that I don't use them um, if I work if I do them in advance. So this is like my compromise. So this little banner is one that I made in yesterday's washi tape video. And you can see I'm already putting it to good use and adding it to the bottom of this card. I turned or I cut it so that it was just um, a little bit shorter. And then these little stars I did in my altering wood veneer video, um, which was the first video in the series. So I've sort of spread out my supplies before I started this video and um, kind of pre-planned a bit what I was going to do. Um, that keeps you from having to, you know, watch me decide, but also it keeps the video filming a little bit shorter and it also makes me a little bit more decisive when I start filming. So some of this, um, I had pre-planned that card that I just finished but it looks completely different when I pre-planned pre it. So there is some, still some spontaneity in there when I am working with the product. So that is one of my fringed hearts right there that I made in the second video in the series. And you can see, like I said in the yesterday's video, that I am starting to incorporate some of those first um, video products into these uh, last three videos. So I'm just kind of... Um, adding this little cute little heart tag, but I did add it so that the hole was off the card so that I can cut it off. And then these cute little cork hearts as well, just like a little base. I can go in and add a sentiment. I can add some journaling later on. Uh, just something to start with. I'm trying to see if I want to add anything in that corner, but I don't end up adding anything, I don't think. Pretty sure. <laughs> Nope. So moving on, I've worked on two four by sixes now and all the rest of these are going to be three by fours. And I have this really cute um, snowflake confetti that I just bought, I think in AC Moore. It just was like a little cheap pack of confetti and I am fighting with my glue and I'm just gonna add a bunch of glue dots. I add one and then I decide to just go crazy and add a ton and then I got super lazy. And instead of adding these snowflakes on one by one, I just start dumping them right on there and just letting them fall where they may. Because <laughs> I was not about to place a million snowflakes on this card. I have let it snow at the bottom, and then I thought it would be just cute with little snowflake confetti all over um, above these trees, like, you know, snow falling from the sky. Just a little way to kick up this card a notch so that... It's still using the original design and just adding to it. That card that I completed before was one that I had obviously finished from scratch. It was a 4x4 card in the um, Simple Vintage Christmas collection. I did pull out a couple of things from the Simple Vintage collection because I did like some of the layering in that collection. So it was a 4x4 card that I trimmed down to 3x4. 
This is just a trimmed down piece of paper, so this one is obviously going to be from scratch. And I have these gold doilies that I'm trying to incorporate. And then there are Christmas lights in the background, so I wanted to incorporate this Christmas light sticker as well. But when I'm doing this, it just doesn't feel like they're standing out very much. So I'm thinking what else about what else I can add to this card to make things stand out a little bit more. I really like the idea of the card, but it just wasn't quite visible enough for me. Thinking about adding in this third one, but no, I didn't want to. It was too busy. So what else can I add to this card now? Thinking of this sentiment, and I decided to go with this Merry Christmas um, sticker, or well, it's a die cut, and I just slide it right up underneath some of those Christmas lights, and I think that that helps make them stand out a bit more from the background, and now you can see them better than you could before. I'm going to use these stars that I pulled out earlier, wood veneer with that gold embossing on there, from the first video in the series. Here's another from scratch card and this is a journaling block that came in the die cut so that was easy peasy. So of course I'm going to add to it because you can't just have easy peasy cards. <laughs> These are pink, or pink, those are gold puffy stickers from I believe Crate Paper's Christmas line this year and I just added one to the top and the bottom so it says Holly and Jolly. Now I am doing this really cute fan fold for um, crepe paper. I just bought some cheap crepe paper in Target in their little party section. And I just folded it up so that it was cute and wrinkly right down the middle. Need to add some more in. I cut it too short. So I'm just adding a little bit more at the top. And I'm just gonna put a sentiment right over the middle and this one is Merry Christmas again, and I realized that um, as I was putting it down that it said Merry Christmas, and I'd already created a Merry Christmas card, um, but I really liked the way that it looked, so I just left it the way that it was. Um, it's okay to have two Merry Christmas cards. I'll either use them both or I won't. I'll save one for next year. It's okay. No big deal. I did pull it off to see if I wanted to use that comfort and joy instead, but I just really liked the way that that looked, so I left it the way it was. Thought about adding that cute Christmas tree trim, but it did not work with that card very well. So my initial thought was to fussy cut out these 2x2 two two cards that say Joy when put together and use them on this green card. But when I get them all cut out, I don't love how they fit with that brown banner at the top. I mean, they obviously match because they both have the brown banner but it was just too crowded and also this green plaid is the same as the green plaid in the card and so I didn't love that repetition so I immediately I'm like yeah no that's not gonna work for me so I pull them off after I test it and I'm like yeah no that doesn't work so instead I go in a different direction for this card and I'm still gonna use that cute um, Snowflake wood veneer from Colorcast Designs. I ordered some of her December daily wood veneer, which is self-adhesive and always so awesome, except that it's super self-adhesive, so you have to be really careful because once it's down, it is down. <laughs> you are not getting it back up. So I'm using some of these washi circles that I created in the day three video, and I don't know, I don't remember if I end up keeping them there or not, but I do end up using them eventually. I cut out this Dear Santa in the middle. It's another 2x2 two two card. I do not end up using these 2x2 two two cards as 2x2 two two cards in my album. I don't even think my album has 2x2 two two cards slots in it. So I always end up using the 2x2 two two cards as embellishments. So I just cut that one out with my circle punch and used it as a word bit instead. And there, I layered another one of those washi circles that I created, um, and I really like the play on pattern there. It really came out cute. More of those gold puffy stickers from Crate Paper. So now I have this joy that I need to figure out a card for, so I end up putting it on this cute Christmas tree card that I had already trimmed down from paper. 
I'm going to layer them so that they all fit. Just have to trim off a little bit around the edges. Trying to make sure I incorporate a bunch of different textures into these cards and so that they're not all kind of repetitive and the same. So it says joy and then I decide to add hello December. So it says hello December joy. So that'll be a good intro page. This card is from the Simple Vintage Christmas Collection. So I'm just going to add to it. You can see that there's already some fun layering on that card. But I can't just leave it alone. So I'm going to add some Christmas trees in the corner and this little Hello December. Again, repeating the phrases in some places, but um, the Hello December with the trees would be a great, you know, beginning of the album card. And then really the Hello December Joy can be used anywhere in the album where my kids look excited or whatever. So this one is another one from the Simple Vintage Christmas Collection that has some layering, but I added a sticker to it at the top and then the wood veneer at the bottom. I'm going to actually layer the exact same image over that poinsettia on the card because I want there to be um, a little bit more. I, I want to incorporate this Here Comes Santa Claus. And my initial thought was to overlap them a little bit more so that it, uh, some of that poinsettia comes out in the front. But I don't end up actually doing that, so I guess I could have not used that poinsettia, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it adds some fun to it. I like that little doodly puffy sticker at the bottom too. And then we're coming up on the end here. I have a couple cards left. Another one that had some clustering at the top, so I added a word bit, and then I added the little, um, the little coffee cup and the, the holly at the bottom. Last but not least, I'm going to add Fa La La to the Santa card, and then I'm going to add a bunch of star gems just to decorate it and fill up some of that empty space. And that is it for these cards. I'm going to pull them back into frame for you, and you'll see the close-ups at the end. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And I will be back tomorrow with some tags and pockets. All right, thank you.